Welcome back Pokemon Trainers, Professor Chaz here, the lab coat's on back order, and we've got another event happening in Pokemon Go. This intro is going to be kind of quick, I'm going to burn through the information, because I'm on limited time right now. I found out just today, because I don't read the news as often as I probably should, that we've got a birthday event for Niantic in Pokemon Go. Celebrate Niantic's fifth birthday with a special event. Happy birthday Niantic Labs, indeed happy birthday to you folks out there. In celebration of Niantic's birthday in just a few days, you'll be able to enjoy limited time bonuses and exclusive timed research. So today, from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m., so I've almost lost half the time. Okay then. Features. Complete the Niantic birthday event timed research during the event period to receive an incense, an egg incubator, a lucky egg, a fast TM, a charge TM, star piece, and more. Team Go Rocket Balloons will be appearing more often than usual. And during the event, we have gotten, I say that because you're probably going to see this after the event is done, uh, double the lucky egg duration, double the star piece duration, double the catch experience, double the hatch experience, half hatch distance for eggs placed in incubators during the event. To kick off the celebrations, a one Pokecoin Niantic birthday event box featuring 30 Ultra Balls will be available in the shop from Saturday the 3rd at 1pm to Monday the 5th at 1pm. Uh, celebrate Niantic, and those are Pacific uh, times there. Celebrate Niantic's fifth birthday with us. Whether you've been playing Niantic games from the very beginning or started with Pokemon Go, there's much to enjoy during the Niantic birthday event. Let's go. Alright, learn more on the blog. Nah, I think we're good, because i got to get moving. Uh, let's see here. So, when I was out doing some catching for the uh, special research for our mysterious, victorious type Pokemon, not that that's an actual Pokemon type, could you imagine victory type Pokemon? They never lose. Anyway, we had uh, uh, some new time research pop up, and I started working on that unintentionally during the other uh, special research. So, they want us to use three berries to help catch Pokemon. You get three Pinette berries for doing that. Catch five Pokemon for three Raspberries. And this third step was to make three great throws for three Nana berries, and I've already completed that, again, unintentionally. Overall, this gives us an incense, a thousand Stardust, a thousand experience points. So I think this is actually gonna be pretty quick. We'll be back in maybe like, two minutes and I'll come back and see what the next step of this is because I don't see no incubator I don't see no uh, TMs there's more steps to the birthday event I gotta go let's do it yeah I figured that was not hard at all just at the end of the driveway actually a nice little centret showed up I'm like nice easy catch so I throw out the old uh, Nana Berry got that task done threw the ball and uh, broke out ran away great so I settled for a nice little Mareep instead that did complete the steps all right, now let's claim our rewards. Three of each kind of berry. Do you think they're ever gonna add other berries from like the main series? I thought that when the Golden Raz came out, they should have made that like the Bluckberry because it looks similar to the Raspberry. But, you know, it's different enough that it looks, you know, you know it has a different effect. All right, let's get our incense, our 1,000 Stardust and 1,000 experience points for the overall first step here, or first, uh, yeah, first step along the way. Okay, now we want to transfer five Pokemon for 750 Stardust, power a Pokemon three times for 750 Stardust, and evolve a Pokemon for another 750 Stardust. Overall, that'll be one Incubator. That's what they are giving us right there. We got a thousand Stardust and a thousand Experience points. I could probably do that right now, actually, while we're here together. Uh, we got to transfer. Was it three species? I think I can get rid of Whalmer, this Hoppip, and uh, Makuhita. Actually, you know what we'll do? We'll take care of that evolution right next. I got plenty of candy for Makuhita. We'll evolve it into Hariyama. What do you think the next costume Pokemon is going to be? Because did anyone out there predict we'd be seeing a Top Hat Curlia or a bow wearing Smoochum or even the Krogunk with a backwards cab? I'm not sure the like the relevance of some of the costumes, but they're cool regardless. It's cool to have like unique collectibles and such. All right, so Hariyama, Hopip, Whalmer. Y'all can go. That is that step. Oh, I got to turn for two more. I messed up. I miscounted. Uh, Snubble and go. Furloin, you two can go. I like to check and make sure if I have, like, basically if I have over 300 candy for a species, I like to uh, evolve it before transferring. Just, I guess that extra little boost of experience. Not that I really focus on it, however. Why did I hit battle? I want my Pokemon list. So let's go and find... My go-to power upper for the time being is Hal, our shiny Porygon 2, because he's still pretty low. So it's a little Stardust cost to get him powered up. I said three times, right? How do you like how they've added the way to a power up multiple times in one go? You can just choose how much you want to do it. All right, now that I think completes, yes it does, step two. 
Let's get ourselves, what's that gonna be? 200 and, or 2,250 Stardust, I think. We're gonna get our incubator, another 1,000 Stardust, and the 1,000 experience. Now, are we on to the final step already? We'll see what the rewards are. No, nope, there's still more steps to go. All right, or, or sorry, spin three Pokestops or gyms, that's easy. Hatch an egg. I've got a 7K incubating right now, that's gonna take a bit. And earn a candy walking with your buddy. All of those get you five of each kind of potion except for max potion. We get a lucky egg, 1,000 stardust, 1,000 experience points. Whew. All right, I guess I'm gonna start walking because, well, how far is the egg ready to hatch? Yeah, still about 5.7. Well, <laughs> I'll be back once that hatches up and uh, we'll see what happens next. The walking is now complete. We hatched up that egg and we got ourselves in a lowland geodude from all the way in Norway. So some of the more recent live streams we've done, I've actually added some friends from Norway. If there was a way to track who sent you each egg, that would be pretty cool. So I'm not sure who to say thank you to, but thank you to all of you in Norway, actually, let's say, because it could have been anybody and just for hanging out on the streams and friending up. So with that completed, we now get to get ourselves all these potions. Now, I don't see any TMs yet. They did say that we're going to be getting a charge TM and a, a fast TM, and I haven't gotten them yet, which means there's at least one more step. I've got an hour and 20 minutes to con uh, conclude. We actually finished walking about uh, 40 minutes ago, about 3 o'clock. It was a little bit slower than I would have uh, normally done, but I found a new mural in the neighborhood, so I thought, let's submit a new Pokestop suggestion, see what happens. <sighs> but. I've only got another hour and 20 minutes. I really hope there's no more walking involved. If there's only one more step, it could just be when they hand you a bunch of, uh, you know, goodies for all the work. All right, we got ourselves that lucky egg, picking up a thousand stardust and the 1,000 experience points. Uh, I've got an hour and 19 minutes to complete this. And I, oh, there's the TMs there. Now I wonder. Actually, you know what? I've been saying in the past little while we haven't had any gameplay footage. So let's do that. Let's get some right here. We have a Team Go Rocket grunt floating on by. What do you want, you pest? Scram. Again, like I said, they haven't updated this. He, he came at me and tells me to scram. This is my home, buddy. You don't invade a man's home. Pokemon are only good for making money. Why not use them? You stay out of our business. Oh, I was hoping for fire type. All right, let us go to... Uh, don't tangle with us means... Going for the grass types. I guess we'll lead with Blaze. We'll, we'll, we just actually hit best buddies with Blaze too, so he's not our current buddy. You're not going to gain the CP bonus. And we'll go. Well, I think Ho Oh has Solar Beam. I will go with. Let's bring Entei. Blaze, Gleason, and Entei. Let's take this grunt down. And. Uh, there's uh, the gym across the way was just stolen from me earlier, apparently, so I can easily take that back. Alright, it's got uh, confusion. I don't like that. Blaze is getting hurt. Can we at least get a Dragon Claw off? Come on, buddy. We got this. We got this. I can switch to... Who would take that confu or that, uh, yeah, the confusion best? Now, let's look Blaze in. One more hit. Come on. Two more hits, maybe. Alright, now we're switching out. Blaze did his job. Who are we going to? Who are we going to? Ivysaur. Oh, I shouldn't have gone. Nope, this is fine. I was thinking it might have like a, a poison jab or something, but fortunately, Ivysaur can only have grass type fast moves at this point in time. And we might get a nice stat boost from our ancient power. And I have to wait and see if a raid pops up in the you know hour and 20 minutes remaining. I think I was starting to say, maybe I concluded, but uh, I think. Is it once you start the timed research, you have as much time as you need to complete it? I hope so. Okay, this could have acid. Let's get Razor Leaf, but it's still gonna hurt us. Point and take, we got this. He resists that. I mean, so did Gleason, and he fell to it, but. Uh, it's looking close, actually. I don't like this. It's gonna come down to Blaze. I have to try this again. Wait. Dragon Claw, come on! All right, I'll fight him again in a little bit. But yeah, so it looks like my life as a criminal makes me feel so alive. Well, not for long, buddy. I know I can do it, Spark. Okay, stop talking for a second. Let me get back to the main screen, please. Done, take you out in a bit. Yeah, so hopefully a raid shows up there so I can get this all accomplished. And that might be the final step because I think that's all the rewards they were talking about. 
So let's pop back in as we complete the last of this research and see what we get as an overall result for the uh, Niantic birthday event. All right, it is now past five o'clock and we just happened to hatch up a nice level one raid across the street there. But uh, the downside, the research is gone. I guess I had to complete it within that uh, by five o'clock time frame. But the, the egg didn't hatch until now. <laughs> but on the bright side, even though I didn't get to complete that, I happen to be able to, I'm hoping, take this down with two of our ready to evolve Pokemon. We have Amelia, our very first perfect Pidgey. She will eventually be our perfect Pidgeot. And also, since we have enough candy now, we got uh, Adams, who is powered up and ready for battle. So we're gonna jump on in. I know her stats aren't great, but at the time, she was the best Gothita that I did pick up. But yeah, anyway, all that said, we're gonna jump in, tackle this raid, and we'll come back and recap, I guess, uh, this part of the video. So stay tuned. So we did manage to complete that raid battle, and we got ourselves a couple of new evolutions. Not new in the sense that new Pokedex entry, but we've got Amelia, the perfect Pidgey, now evolved up, and we have Adams, evolved from Goth Gothita into Gotharita. But in addition to that, something else happened too. Uh, what is it right now, currently? It is Tuesday, the 6th of October. Uh, I was busy for the past little while, but I did manage to tackle a Mega Pidgeot raid with some friends through some of these uh, remote passes. So I do have enough Mega Energy for our Pidgeot Chirp. And I thought, since we're still in the middle of Fashion Week, in fact, how much longer is there for that particular event? We still have two days and 13 hours. So with their spawns, still sort of uh, keeping the fire types away from me. And bear in mind, it's pretty windy out here today, so the audio might not be very good, but I work with what I got, basically. But since the fire types might not be showing up all that often, despite it currently being sunny, I thought, if nothing else, we can finish off this video with another new mega evolution for the channel. And that is going to be good old Chirp. Let's go to our Pokemon list here and see where he's at. I don't think he's too far down. What, what is the CP anyway? Does it show the CP on the buddy page? I don't remember. Bear with me. You know what? I can just go by number, actually, because fortunately, Pidgeot is near the top of the Pokedex list. Okay, chirp. There you are. So he's at 1702 through Mega Evolution. He's going to go up to 3005. Now, that seems like a lot. When we did the Mega Evolution for Stinger, our Beedrill, the number actually was inaccurate on this page. But let's see what happens. We have four hours with... Mega Pidgeot. Here we go. And I gotta remember, check the Pokedex because I always forget. There he is. Chirp has reached Mega Evolution. Look at that ribbon on there. So I do love the fact that they made sure the ribbon is still visible on the Pokemon. So yeah, he's at 3,005. Very cool stuff. I only got 20 Mega Pidgeot energy left. Or Pidgeot Mega Energy. Again, I can't say that in the uh, proper order. All right, immediately check this Megadex for Mega Pidgeot, the bird Pokemon. With its, mus with its muscular strength now greatly increased, it can fly continuously for two weeks without resting. But you should, because rest is important, plus you gotta stop and, you know, replenish your energies and stuff. Okay, so what we're gonna do for now, I'm gonna do my usual photo gallery, photo shoot all around where I can find some decent spots, and we'll pop back in as amazing things happen as we take Chirp, the Mega Pidgeot. No wait, you know what? We gotta take a look at what it looks like, don't we? Uh, let's go ahead, go into play, because yeah, we gotta check the animations. Okay, so let's get a spot here on the grass. Got all the leaves falling, because it is currently switching over into the colder seasons. Season, I guess. All right, and here is big ol' Mega Pidgeot. The lighting's not good on this side, hang on. The sun glaring and messing up with the lens flare, I guess. So there he is, let's get him to turn our way. Come on, turn around, buddy. There we go, look at that wingspan. Okay, one tap. Gives us the nice little screech roar, I guess. Double tap. Nice little swooping. And when we pet him, we get... Whatever that move was. Very cool stuff, so photo potential for sure. Let's start taking him around. But let's look actually. But let's actually take a look at the backside too, because Pidgeot gets a nice bit of blue through its Mega Evolution, right on the feather tips, on the wings, on the tail as well. 
definitely a very colorful Mega Evolution. All right, with that, wait, we gotta feed one more berry. Don't wanna forget that like we did with Blaze. Wait, he's gonna follow me, watch this. I'm gonna back up a bit. I think he's gonna follow me. I thought he was. Come on, dude. Maybe if I put it away. And now, bring out the berry. There you go, okay. And I missed. Okay, well he eats that up. We're gonna get moving and start doing some photos with our Mega Pidgeot. And we'll pop back in as some amazing things happen throughout the day. So that leg of the adventure is now complete and I'm back home. I was looking forward to relaxing for a little bit, but I'm actually going to get out there and do one more thing before the end of the video. I'm probably wait <laughs> making it way too long, but I just want to point out a couple cool things. Now, first of all, I went way overboard with all my photos and recordings and stuff as I was going around up there. I actually ran out of space on the old uh, Pokemon Go phone for recording, so I couldn't get any more footage. The downside to that, I missed out on showing you this capture live, a shiny Shuppet. I got it from a, a research, I think it was to transfer three Pokemon maybe? But being researched of course, pretty decent stat wise. I have a second shiny Shuppet and uh, I think it's got even better stats than that. For Annabelle right here. And this was a wild catch I remember, I was walking around during my, or uh, not during class, you know, I'm, I stay in class, I do my work. But on break from my class, I found this just outside. Yeah, one point each away from perfect, and it was shiny. And I'm like, I don't normally have that kind of good luck. But yeah, two shiny Shuppet now, which means that I can now evolve one of them into shiny Bayonet. Now, I don't think there's anything else to point out highlight-wise. I did a bunch of uh, you know photos with Chirp, our Mega Pidgeot, of course, a bunch of raids as well. So I got another Curlia with the top hat, Shinx with the uh, top hat as well. And I think that was it. I did also get, uh, uh, what was it, Cottony Ray for some more candy for my Cottony to evolve up eventually. But all that aside, there's not much more to mention. I will say, actually one last thing to mention, uh, I found the, the park uptown, King Square, had a number of Charmander in it. So worst case scenario, if I can get up there before the end of Fashion Week, the uh, Long Champ Fashion event, I can get some fire types there to hopefully complete our special research, which, by the way, doesn't look like we're completing in this video, but there's always the next video. But yeah, I only need another, uh, what was it, 17. I could get a decent amount of uh, Charmander from what seems to be a nest in the park right now. All right, but it is now time to get ready for the next event, should be the final event of this video. I don't normally take part in the spotlight hours because generally it's not a species that I'm looking to get and sometimes the rewards like double experience kind of not too hung up on experience. Uh, sometimes the double stardust is nice, but I am gonna take part in this one and I'll show you some highlights as we go through if there are any highlights. So encounter special Pikachu wearing one of Ash's caps during Pokemon Spotlight Hour. Uh, for the spo uh, Pokemon Spotlight Hours on October 6th today and October 13th next week, special Pikachu wearing the same caps worn by Ash, the, <laughs> I kind of have to explain who this is for people that don't know. Ash, the protagonist of the Pokemon anime series, will be appearing in the wild. Other special bonuses will also be active. So today, it's gonna to be Pikachu wearing the World Cap worn by Ash in the current series, I believe, Pokemon Journeys, the series. It'll be available in Pokemon Go for the first time, double the experience for catching Pokemon. So I'm more interested in getting like the cap. I wanna see if I happen to find any shiny Pikachu with the World Cap there. But next week, 
for the Spotlight Hour, Pikachu wearing the original cap worn by Ash will be in Pokemon Go. And if you're not sure what that looks like, I got a bunch of them from previous times. Wait, I don't need to search. Just go to by number and find where's Pikachu at. Look at all the different costume Pikachu we've gotten. And yet only one Squirtle wearing sunglasses. Okay, which one is it? Where is the cap? Were you really that old ago? So that's Peak Ashu. That's what that cap looks like. The official Pokemon League Expo hat that uh, Mankey or Primeape stole at one point. All right, but that will be next week. This week, we're going to find that World Cat Pikachu. Spotlight hour begins in just a couple minutes. So let's see if we can find some uh, very special, perhaps shiny Pikachu as we take part in the Spotlight Hour. And that brings us to the end of our video today. Nothing too crazy amazing as far as the Pikachu that we picked up. No shinies were found, but I did get a couple of decent three-star ones and a few two-stars as well. This one here is the best of the best. We got uh, five points from Perfect. And uh, let's see what else. Two-star, we got a three-star, and a couple more two-stars, I believe. So, uh, of course, I caught more than just those six, but I just kept the best ones to uh, hang on to. One for myself five for uh, other folks for trading at some point I could actually oh I should point this out too so as you know most recently costume Pokemon can't be evolved but these ones can interestingly enough I guess it's because it might be the same model of hat as the original cap and I already have that on uh, Raichu so I suppose it makes sense that this Pikachu could evolve up as well but that is going to wrap things up for today's video in Pokemon Go hopefully if all things work out the way I'm hoping then we should be possibly starting the next episode by completing step two of six for the investigative mysterious energy. But that remains to be seen, depending on what kind of spawns we're looking at. Still about a day and a half of the Fashion Week event for the po Pokemon Cross Longchamp, or the other way around. Uh, yeah, so the costume Pokemon should be done by then, at which point hopefully random fire types will be spawning once again to complete that special research. So as we end off for the video for today, I want to say thank you folks for watching. If you want to see some more Pokemon Go content from Professor Chaz, you're welcome to subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you want to drop a like, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to do that as well. And if you disliked it, feel free to dislike the, uh, or click the dislike button and let me know what should I do to improve these videos for the future. Now, as an additional bonus, I now have the memberships once again available on our channel. So for a monthly fee, there are two tiers right now that you can join in as a member. We've got the Lab Rats or the Lab Aids. You can choose which one you like, and each one comes with different perks. There is, what is it, access to the uh, members only post on the community tab, which could admit, uh, include polls at some point to help shape the future of our channel here together. And that is uh, accessible to the both tiers, I believe that is. And as a lab aide, you can possibly be seeing videos such as this one earlier than the rest of the folks happen to get it. I, I'll do that probably at least once a month to, you know, make sense of the monthly subscription fee. And a lot of the videos that we do for Pokemon Go are timed events, so I don't want to have too many that are held back. But definitely since it's a monthly subscription fee, I want to have one per month that comes out a couple days in advance of uh, the public release. So. There's one more thing I was going to mention. Oh, most importantly, as far as this goes, a perk that I can't put in as a permanent perk, but as sort of an early bird special kind of thing, is the first 50 members of the channel, I will dedicate 50 spaces in my Pokemon Go friends list to uh, member spaces. And you'll be guaranteed to get at least one gift for me per month, but I'm gonna do my best to make it like once per week. Uh, depending on how the gifts go though, that might be out of my control, but anyway. I'm going to try and do my best to make sure that uh, the first 50 members of the channel get top priority when it comes to sending gifts in Pokemon Go. So if that interests you at all, click the join button that you can see down below. Get some more information on the member subscriptions and the perks that come with it. But that is going to wrap things up. Oh, hi, Mega Charizard X. We already got your Mega Energy though, so we're good. Uh, yeah, so that's going to be it. Thank you folks for watching, and let me know how are your adventures during Fashion Week going in Pokemon Go? Did you get any shiny costume Pokemon? That would be cool to know. And any 100%? That would also be interesting. But that is going to wrap things up. I want to say folks, thank you for watching. Professor Chaz is signing off, and I'll catch you next time.